All right, so there's this YouTube channel called Coco Melon. It's a regular channel for like little babies and two year olds to enjoy for some music, and I respect all that, but there's something interesting about it. The comment section is a little bit suspicious, and I don't know what's going on with it, but let's review it. Okay, so I don't know if these are bots or just parents that let their little babies type in the keyboard or their phone in the comment section. And there's like 50,000 comments full of these random accounts or channels with a bunch of letters. They're just typing a bunch of random letters. I simply don't have words for what's going on here, but I'm just gonna be scrolling down and showing you guys. You could see for yourself, I have a link for the video in the, in the description. Er Gertrude Figuder. True that. At Danny Gonzalez. 49 likes and 15 replies. Well, it's totally normal for something like that to get 49 likes. Okay, there's a normal comment here. I guess it's got 79, like, I have no idea what is going on here. I'm very confused. Maybe it's, maybe it's people from other countries. Maybe everyone got these comments from Area 51. Now, there's comments from other countries, but I don't know if they're just uh, random letters it's typed on the keyboard. I mean, I'm guessing they are, but I don't know because it's from a different language. Nong Pluem apostrophe. Let's give him a comma. Bruh. Okay, so I've been scrolling down for a few more minutes and I can't really find anything else. I don't know what this is, man. This is kind of creeping me out. Like, I'm extremely confused. One eternity later. Look, I found a normal comment, finally. 80% of the comments, just a bunch of random letters. Exactly. But how is this nursery rhyme 30-minute vi video clickbait? <laughs> how does that make sense? By the way, this video has half as many dislikes as likes, which is actually a lot. This is only the third or fourth normal comment I've seen so far. It says, love all your videos, Pokemon. That's the only thing I can find. And then this guy commented, lion. Wow, hollow. So cute, 16 <laughs> likes. Wow, perfect, Coco Melon. Okay. What? Okay, I just... I'm sorry if I'm, like, overly confused, guys, but I just... This is the one of the weirdest things I've ever seen on YouTube. Alright, so I entered a new nursery rhyme video from some different channel, and the first thing I see is, Okay, sweetheart. And it has nine likes. <laughs> Good video. PHW crossed. Okay. <laughs> Please help me. I like it because it puts my daughter to sleep very fast. Well, that's a normal comment. Oh, please help me. This is this is cancerous. What is this diabetes, man? Every day we grow farther from God. I hope he's not talking about the video and just the comment section. Because nursery children listen to nursery rhymes. Okay. Wow. You know what, guys? I'm gonna write my own comment. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. I bet it's gonna get, like, four likes in the next five decades. Two thousand years later. Oh, wow. It actually worked. Well, GG's. Now I know you can get noticed in the comments section in nursery rhyme videos by saying oof. Alright, let's change the subject. Uh, so one day I went into this YouTube search bar and typed a comma. I came with Dame tu cosita as my first result, and um, I'm very confused again. Alright, so I typed a dot and a bunch of random stuff came up. It looks like or Arabic letters or and hearts. All right, instead of just dots as the title of the video, it just says full stop punctuation. It sounds like a video of a cat that looks warped and then Shrek. Then when I type the equal sign, I come up with this. Surprise eggs. Why? I was gonna search for a hashtag, but then the first thing that comes up is nursery rhymes. Come on, YouTube, like, you can do better than that. Low-key, guys, I was having a lot of fun doing this until I typed the slash in the search bar, and things happened. So I searched it up, Teletubbies in a different language with 10 million views.
and yeah, I've lost faith in humanity at this point. Okay, this time I searched the and symbol and I got two live videos as the beginning and one of them of course is a nursery rhyme. I don't know what is it with these nursery rhyme videos advertising this way with people searching up symbols, but geez. Alright, I think it's got to a point where YouTube just doesn't want me to search anything up anymore because I searched this up, I don't even know what this symbol is called, and no results. <laughs>